Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls 3 walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be exploring the Catacombs of Carthus. But before we do, like always, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And I did a couple of things, not too many. Number one, I farmed up a ton of souls so we could get eight levels today. I also went ahead and bought all of Orbeck's spells from the new spell books that we gave him. Or scrolls, sorry. And that's all I did. So let's go ahead and level up. Welcome home, I should speak that. Very well, then talk Hagen. We're going to put two into Vigor, Endurance, Strength, and Dexterity. Farewell, Ashen Maiden. And because I forgot to level up my sword in the last video, let's go ahead and come over to Andre. Right. And level up our Claymore to plus five. <laughs> We're going to talk to Orbeck a couple of times. Back again, I perfect timing. How do you like gimmicks, friend? This is a sign, a cipher, employed by sorcerers who use quietude to their advantage. He's going to give us the silent ally gesture along with the slumbering dragon crest ring with this you can be sure to tell friend from foe from your very first encounter it's a very old practice at this point but one that you deserve to know promise to stay safe and then we're going to come over here and talk to oh I can't remember her name speak thy desire honorable lord of hollows Yuria that's her name Yuria oh good hollow I'm afraid I must say Orbeka Vinheim is a cause of much consternation he proclaimeth himself Lord of Hollows. If left alone, he may one day imperil thy rule. Fall to this matter yearly, else we are unraveled. Decisiveness is the mark of a true monarch. Till we meet again. May the dark sigil guide thee. And then we're going to run to the top. We have one more thing to do. And then we will head over to the Abyss Watchers bonfire. We're going to come out here. We're going to go to the left. We have a dog over here. And where Hawk Hawkwood uh, prays to this tombstone, we're going to pick up Hawkwood's shield. So he left his shield here. We'll be seeing him much later into the game. Let's go to the bonfire. We're going to go to travel and I will see everybody at the Abyss Watchers bonfire. We're going to walk forward where that chalice is. It's going to start sliding backwards. And it's going to reveal a secret stairway. This is going to lead us to the catacombs of Carthus. Let's go ahead and two-hand our sword. If 
you have a blessed weapon, this area would be a little bit easier for you. See how this skeleton has white eyes? It's going to resurrect if you don't have a blessed weapon. So you're going to have to kill it twice if you don't have a blessed weapon. I think I've said that so many times now. Get some Karthus Rouge. But after you kill him that second time, they don't resurrect. Let's get this guy's attention. We're going to pull him back here. And the reason why is because if we don't pull him back here, there's an archer up top to our left that's going to shoot at us while we're trying to fight him. Just up there. And that's no fun. Now we're going to run to this doorway, kill two skeletons. Try to kill him in this doorway so that the archer doesn't aggro to you. Cool, we got a scimitar. Be careful of the ones with the falchions. When they block, they are very good at parrying. So just keep that in mind. I'll show you guys with the uh, skeletons that are over here. So they're going to block like that. If you hit them while they're blocking like that, there's a good chance that you're going to get parried. So just wait for them to swing and then go ahead and take a swing at them. Come over here for a soul. And then we're going to backtrack to where the archer was. Be really careful. There's some pressure plates on the floor. If you step on them, it's going to shoot some fire bolts at you. Slide down this ladder. Grab ourselves another soul. And then right over there, we can see an enemy. Don't worry about that enemy just yet. We're going to roll into this wall. It's an illusory wall. We have another white-eyed skeleton. Kill him that second time. Grab ourselves the Karthus Pyromancy Tome. Then right here we have a archer. We can kill. Now here comes the fun part. This guy is extremely fast. He has a shodel and he will throw some throwing knives at you. Or Kirki, I think they are. Yeah, he'll throw those at you. So try to take them out as fast as you can. They do have a chance to drop a vertebrae shackle as well. Grab that sharp gem. And then these guys with the big sword. If you're doing a bleed build, by the way, these guys have an amazing sword they can drop for you. Try not to get hit by that attack. That attack hurts so bad when they go to do that spin to win. Let's one hand our sword. We're going to have five skeletons resurrect themselves. None of, none of them are white eyed, so you don't have to worry about them resurrecting again. Let's talk to Anri. Oh, hello. How very fortunate. Have you seen my companion, Horace? To my shame, I was snared by a trap and we've become separated. I've not been able to find him since. 
Yes, I see. Horus is a valiant knight. He can look after himself, no question. He's probably searching for me right now, with twice the resolve. If you happen upon him, please tell him that I remain in the catacombs and will lay prism stones to guide him, as always. Please send him my word, I beg of you. May the flames guide your way. So off to the left, we're going to have a crystal lizard. We can run this crystal lizard right off the ledge. Or you can just kill it real quick. Be careful of the skeletal archer, by the way, across the way. Grab some blood red moss clumps. Now we're going to go up these stairs. There's going to be two skeletons right here. And we are back where we started. That's the initial stairs we went up. Killed those uh, skeletons along with the archer. We're going to cross the bridge again. I'm going to backtrack to the beginning of the catacombs of Carthus. We're going to go over to this wall and then come over here to the left. We're going to hop down. Hop down again. Hop down one more time. Get a plunging attack on the skeleton that was shooting at us earlier. Here's a second skeleton. And then be very careful because there's going to be a ball that drops from up there. You can kind of see it. It's a little hard to make out, but it is there. It's going to come rolling down. Not get in its way. It's a good way to get killed or knocked off the ledge here. Kill this skeleton. And then right behind this wall, just here, is the skeleton that's controlling that ball. So we want to kill it so that when the ball rolls down here, it will break. Now we have an item over there. We'll get that in just a second. First, we're going to run up these stairs. And grab ourselves an ember. Grab ourselves an undead bone shard. Be careful of these guys. They're going to throw little pots and it's going to summon two sprites. So try to kill them fast. Also, be careful of these jars with the cloth lids. If you roll into them, hit them anything, those purple sprites are going to pop out. I'm going to come right over here. And grab ourselves the Carthus Milk Ring. Pretty cool ring. This actually is really good for dex builds or quality builds, which is what we are. If you put it on, it's going to slightly boost your dexterity and obscure your rolling. Be careful of the pressure, pressure plate. Let's uh, fall back here. We got these two skeletons right over here.
Ooh. You got me good there. You can use the pressure plates to your advantage to help get some damage in to the skeleton that's chasing you. Again, don't roll into these pots while you're trying to kill these guys. Take these guys out one at a time. Pick up this soul. Be careful of the pressure plate that's right here. It's pretty sneaky. Easy to miss that one. Or actually easy to not see it. Not miss it. We're going to run to the back. Be careful of the hole that's right here. Pick ourselves up an ember, just in case you don't have enough of them. Be careful not to walk out there. There's another one of those skeletal balls. Grab a large titanite shard. We're going to light this bonfire. We could see that on the other side from where the uh, ball broke earlier. I just didn't mention it. We're going to rest at the bonfire. And then we're going to run over here. Let the skeletal ball pass us. And then we're going to run right behind it. Run halfway down the stairs. Turn around. And then... Stay where this alcove is and run down the stairs. The only reason I like to do that is it kills the three rats that are going to aggro towards us as soon as we come down here. Cool, it dropped a soul. Now right here we're going to run down this hallway. We're going to grab an item immediately turn around because we're going to get invaded by Night Slayer Sorig. Get an easy backstab on him. He didn't like that very much. You can use the skeletal ball to your advantage. Try not to let Sorig hit you because he hits hard. For killing Sorig, we get the My Thanks gesture along with the Night Slayer's ring. The Night Slayer's Ring, in my opinion, isn't really that good unless maybe you're doing some PvP and somebody's blocking a lot. All it's going to do is allow you to do more stamina damage when something's blocking. In my opinion, not that good. Be really careful, grab this, move away. There's a slime or a blob that just got me. They're all up top here, so just... Keep that in mind. They're actually more dangerous than the bone wheel skeletons. Bone wheel skeletons really aren't that hard. Maybe. I'm making them look hard, apparently. The bone wheel skeletons can drop large titanite shards along with the bone wheel shield. Be careful of the slime. Try not to 
get that to drop on you. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to run all the way down this way. Grab this item. Immediately roll away. Get the Karthus Blood Ring. Not really that good. It boosts your iframes when you roll. But you also get a debuff to all your defenses. So, in my opinion, not worth it. Come over here, grab some Titanite shards. Got another one of these guys. Be really careful. He's throwing those Gierky at us. Right here, if we roll into this wall, it's an illusory wall. We're going to have another one of these guys. Now he has white eyes, so he's going to resurrect himself. You want to take him out as fast as you can, though. Pick up the Grave Warden's Ashes. Grab a large Titanite. And then we have another one with two shoulders. Come over here and we're going to kill the skeleton that is controlling the ball. Just be really careful of the skeleton that's right back here. Go ahead and take him out. And then there's a pressure plate right there. Grab some Karthus Rouge. And then we're going to go down this stairwell. Hang a left. We can kill this crab that came out of the ball that was rolling back and forth. And we can pick up a dark gym. We're going to run down this hallway. We have a crystal lizard. Try to get him to go into the wall so that you can kill him. Get yourself a fire gym. And we're going to try to sneak up behind this skeleton and get a backstab. We'll see if we're successful or not. There we go. He's going to fall to his death. Go ahead and pick up some yellow bug pellets. Pull this lever. This is over by where we fought Sorg. Grab ourselves a soul. Some black bug pellets. Take the two skeletons out and then right here, do not get close to the bridge. If you get close to the bridge, the skeletons are going to spawn. And then you're going to have to fight all of them before talking to Anri. So we're going to come up here, we're going to talk to Anri. Ah, hello. We meet again. Have you seen Horus anywhere? Oh yes, I see. I've searched high and low with no luck. Perhaps he's left the catacombs. Oh, Horus, where have you run off to? So we'll be going back over by that bridge in just a moment, but if we look down there, matter of fact, we'll hop down. If we look down there, we can see somebody standing down there. That's actually Horus. I'll try to zoom in on the video so everybody can see. If not, you can kind of make it out. I'm going to run over here. 
we're going to go across the bridge this time. Get all the skeletons to spawn in. There they go. Run back across the bridge. I just want to show everybody what you can do with the bridge here. Get them to start running over here. Hit the bridge. Uh, they're all going to fall. And then we're going to come over here. And we're going to kill one of the easiest bosses in the game. At least in my opinion. It's more of a gimmick boss than it is anything. We're just going to have to hit its three bracelets and uh, break them to kill the boss. For now, let's go ahead and touch this goblet. So the most important part is grabbing that item that is fr in front of us. That is going to be a pyromancy tome. We're going to need to turn that in to an NPC that's not at Firelink Shrine yet. But if we don't get it now, we will not be able to get it again. Unless we go into New Game Plus. As soon as we get close over here, we're going to see Walmir. Try not to get too close to the mist there, or else it will damage you and it will kill you really fast. So we break that first bracelet. Always go for the left hand first. Don't go for the right hand first. We're gonna have a bad time, I promise. Boom, he's dead. That easy. Let's go ahead and light this bonfire. Now, quick disclaimer, if you're using sorceries, pyromancies, or even faith, um, it may be a little harder to kill Walnir. But all you have to do is break those bracelets. Make sure that you break the left, well, technically it's his right arm, but our left first. And then you uh, aim for the two bracelets on the other arm. Let's go ahead and go back to Firelink Shrine. First thing we're going to do is come up to Ludlith. We're going to talk to him. Uh -huh. so. so for turning in the soul of High Lord Walnir, you can get the Black Serpent. Again, if you're trying to get all the pyromancies or spells in general, you're going to want to get this. Or you can get his Holy Sword. 
totally up to you. Treat the fire keep she. Roll off here. We'll rest at the bonfire for just a second. Burn our undead bone shard. And then we're going to come over to the handmaid. Ah, ha. Give her some umbral ash. Gracious, let Iona. <laughs> Ashen one. Huh? And then we are going to come down over here to Cornix, and we're going to talk to him for a minute. Ah, there you are, unkindled one. I am pleased to have a pupil as dedicated as you. <laughs> We're going to give him a couple of pyromancy tomes. The first one we're going to give him is the Great Swamp Pyromancy Tome. We had got that one over in Farron Swamp a while back ago. I just didn't give it to him because I knew that we were going to get a couple more. Yes, here we are. It's been long indeed. With this, I can teach you more sophisticated pyromancies. Splendid. I can boast I am your tutor a little longer. <laughs> We're going to give him the Karthus pyromancy tome next. Well, well. I've never seen anything like this. This inscription. This tome is from the catacombs. Fascinating. On this day, the teacher learns alongside the pupil. <laughs> and now we're going to try to give him the Grave Warden Pyromancy Tome. I'm afraid I cannot accept this. This Pyromancy Tome is dark and delves into the depths of men where an untouchable flame resides. I cannot comprehend this myself let alone teach it to you. It is a spell forbidden in the Great Swamp, and nearly everywhere else too. Only one terribly afflicted or burdened by deep sorrow could begin to understand this. Do not be gone for long. What is a teacher without a pupil? <laughs> So if you want to buy all of his pyromancies, you can. But for now, we're going to come over here and we're going to end the video. As soon as I can position myself here. Alrighty, everyone. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.